hey youtube thanks for visiting so in this session we are going to discuss the calculus of variation and the our topic is uh, natural boundary condition okay natural boundary conditions okay so here uh, two main important thing uh, term in this uh, subtopic is natural boundary condition and essential essential boundary condition okay we all about we all know about the essential boundary condition uh, which is the normal boundary condition which is given <coughs> in the calculus of uh, variation problem generally okay so let's start and uh, previous uh, two lectures or three lectures i will take of calculus of variation and previous three lectures we already discussed the euler lagrange equation in different types of euler lagrange equation in lecture one in lecture two we discuss isoperimetric problem okay isoperimetric problem <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> in the third session we discuss orthogonality condition and uh, the traversality condition eh? okay transversality transversality condition in the third lecture okay so those who are interested uh, to learn this concept or if you interested to learn these uh, things then obviously uh, share these lectures or see this lecture and share with your friends obviously so let's start and before starting i am requesting you to all those who are new in my channel please like the session comment if you have any doubt in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe the channel okay and one more thing is that after completing the classes i will provide this uh, content in my telegram channel okay so you can uh, get the content from the telegram channel and my telegram channel name is i think you all know that the learning field the telegram channel is you just search the learning field one group and one channel are there so you can join the group for your discussions and you can obviously join the uh, channel okay for update and for the for getting the class notes okay so let's start so it says that basic problem with variable end okay so it says that let i equal to integration x1 to x2 f of x y y dash dx now we want to extremize the integral i uh, with the help of the function y equal to y x under two different situations so this is that is the natural boundary condition is an extended form of what extended form of moving boundary value problem okay so this is a special case also you can say so case one is here when y x1 is fixed and y x2 is variable that is this is free you can say or this is arbitrary you can say in this case we get uh, the euler lagrange equation is the this one and we also get this condition del f del y dash at x equal to x2 this is equal to 0 that is at the end point okay del f del y this quantity okay, 0 but, okay so that means if x1 is fixed if x1 is fixed y x1 is fixed and y x2 is variable that is y x2 is arbitrary or you can say free then uh, del f del y dash at the free point or at the variable point okay, okay, 0 okay and the second case is when the both y x1 and y x2 are variable that is both end are variable or both end are free or both end are arbitrary of the functional then we get del f del y minus t dx of del f del y dash equal to 0 this is the euler lagrange equation with what del f del y dash at x equal to x1 equal to 0 <coughs> and del f del y dash at x equal to x2 this is equal to also 0 that is in both the end points the value del f del y dash vanishes okay so this condition is known as the natural boundary conditions natural boundary conditions okay so now let us take an example and what do we mean actually by the natural boundary condition so let's see so here one uh, the important thing is essential boundary condition which is the general boundary condition it says that the essential boundary conditions are the set of boundary conditions that are sufficient for solving the differential equations completely so this is the essential boundary condition which like uh, y at x naught equal to y naught this suppose given and y at x1 
this is equal to x1 this like this conditions which are given in the problem of calculus of variation uh, these conditions are known as the essential boundary condition okay and the natural boundary conditions is the natural boundary conditions are boundary conditions involving the higher derivative terms and are not sufficient for solving the differential equations completely okay requiring at least one essential boundary condition see here uh, so if we see the problem then we, uh, this is clear this will be clear okay so see here suppose if we take the example they go up uh, this is the problem and y1 equal to 1 is given and y2 is arbitrary that means this y2 is the natural boundary condition and this is the uh, given normal monthly essential boundary condition see here it says that the line is very important which says that are not sufficient for solving the differential equations completely okay requiring at least one essential boundary condition that means this is the essential boundary condition which is given without this condition we are not uh, able to solve the problem okay so these are the essential boundary conditions so that means and one more thing is so that if a p is x y y dash and y double dash this is equal to zero then we also get the natural boundary condition del f del y double dash at the points which are given at the end points so this is equal to zero if this contains the other higher other term then this goes to del f del y triple dash and so on okay at the point this is equal to zero and the end point okay so this is like the uh, cases of natural boundary conditions okay now if we take the example this one j y equal to integration 1 to 2 y dash square plus 2 y y dash plus y square dx y 1 equal to 1 y 2 is arbitrary then the extremal is so see how we identify this is the uh, case of natural boundary condition here it is given that y 2 is arbitrary that means this is the natural boundary this is the free end okay that is integration 1 to 2 that is x equal to 1 and x equal to 2 this is the two ends these are the two ends and x equal to 1 is fixed here this is the essential boundary condition and this is the what natural boundary condition and uh, in case you also say that this is a mixed type of problem and one more thing is also that here uh, one terms is also used which is mixed boundary condition mixed boundary conditions so mixed boundary conditions means essential boundary conditions is also provided and natural boundary condition is also provided in the problem here uh, the problem you can say this is a mixed boundary value of mix uh, boundary conditions okay so the four options are given this is a questions from csir net 2016 okay i think december section ka question okay so here f is given by y dash square plus 2y y dash plus y square now we first find the euler lagrange equation which is del f del y minus d dx of del f del y dash equal to 0 this implies we simply calculate uh, and we get simply here uh, this one y double dash minus y this is equal to 0 this is second order differential equation we, we know that the solutions which is equal to y equal to a e to the power x plus b e to the power minus x or a and b are the integral constant arbitrary constants okay now the natural boundary condition is del f del y dash at x equal to 2 is 0 since here it is given that y 2 is arbitrary that means at x at the end point x equal to 2 this is 0 okay this implies 2 y dash plus 2 y at x equal to 2 this is equal to 0 uh, that means what if we cancel out 2 from both side or from this side then y dash 2 plus y 2 this is equal to 0 okay applying now applying this uh, given natural uh, essential boundary condition which is y1 at 1 on 1 this is the one we get uh, a e plus b e to the power minus 1 which is equal to 1 now from here we calculate the y dash and apply on this okay so from 2 using this we get uh, what y dash 2 at and plus y2 is equal to 0 so this is the value of y dash so a e to the power 2 minus b e to the power minus 2 plus a e to the power 2 plus b e to the power minus 2 this is equal to 0 so this implies uh, these two terms goes to cancel out and this gives simply a equal to 0 since exponential of order 2 is not equal to 0 therefore we get simply y equal to b e to the power x okay now again we can apply y1 equal to 1 the essential boundary condition so see yeah, here one important term is that uh, this differential equation is not solvable without this essential condition which is given in the definition of natural boundary condition okay so this is that this is given okay so 
that means b equal to e here we get now therefore we get the value or you get the extremal y equal to what e into e to the power minus x which is equal to exponential 1 minus x okay that means the correct one answer is exponential 1 minus x option c is true here okay now if we take an another example it is, this is also a question of uh, session 2018 and we uh, solve using a shortcut trick okay uh, so see it says that j y equal to 0 to log 3 exponential minus x y dash square plus 2 exponential x y dash plus y dx where y at log 3 is equal to 1 and y 0 is free this is where uh, there are four options given now here a functional f is equal to exponential minus x y dash square plus 2 exponential x y dash plus y okay now see if we uh, see the natural boundary condition natural boundary condition which is del f del y dash at which point at y 0 that means at x equal to 0 at x equal to 0 this is equal to 0 now del f del y dash means what del f del y dash means it is equal minus x into 2 y dash plus 2 it is equal x this is equal to 0 this is implies exponential minus x uh, y dash at x equal to 0 okay uh, plus exponential x at x equal to 0 this is equal to 0 now this gives exponent at x equal to 0 if we put at x equal to 0 then this those two terms goes to 1 so this is y dash plus this is 1 this is equal to simply 0 okay so y dash equal to 0 now y dash that means what y dash at the point 2 that means y dash sorry at the point 0 this is x equal to 0 so y dash 0 this is equal to 1 now uh, the shortcut trick is if we apply or if we uh, discard the conditions by using this condition but by by using this one okay so this means if y equal to this one then we get uh, y dash equal to what minus e to the power x and y dash 0 this is equal to minus 1 yeah this is minus 1 yeah this can be the solutions so if we uh, differentiate this term then this gives y dash equal to what minus 2 e to the power 2x and y dash at 0 this gives minus 2 therefore this is discarded now similarly we can discard it this one also y dash equal to e to the power x simply here okay uh, e to the power x minus 2 i think minus 2 is here okay so e to the power x and y dash at 0 this is equal to 1 therefore this can we can discard this one also and if we take y equal to this one the fourth option if y dash equal to 2 e to the power 2x and y dash at 0 this is equal to again 2 therefore we can discard these options also therefore here we can uh, clearly say that this is a shortcut trick that uh, after based on this condition if we uh, apply this condition on the given four options uh, because uh, in the csi net questions the questions are uh, this type of questions okay so here option one is correct okay yeah so here option one is uh, correct okay so this is the uh, lectures for today's session so if the lecture is helpful then please give a like to this session uh, okay so and uh, obviously share with your friends okay thank you friends see you again in the next video thank you